Salem Academy and College has dedicated 250 years to teaching girls and women. And this weekend, they will honor a special group of 13 former students. I think this is absolutely the best. And here to share more about the history of Salem and this weekend's big celebration is Michelle Hopkins Lawrence. Michelle is the co-chair of the 250th History Committee for wow. Salem. She's also a history teacher there at the Academy. Good morning, Michelle. It's so great to have you here. Good morning, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So first off, share the history at Salem as it relates to educating African American and Native American women. So starting in the 1700s, when the school was only about 10 years old in the 1780s, we accepted for education um, African American students. Both were enslaved when they were given permission to attend. We don't know if the youngest one did, her name was Hannah, but we do know that Anna Maria Samuel attended classes at what was called the Girls' School of Salem. And she was a full member of the Moravian community. And the rules in the 1700s were, if you were Moravian, it didn't matter what your racial or ethnic identity was, you were invited to participate in the school. Now that changed for African-Americans. We know that as the town became more enslaved by the early 1800s, the schools were segregated and there was a separate mission school down Church Street for African-American students until North Carolina outlawed teaching any enslaved people or free black people to read and write. But at the same time in the early 1800s, about the 1820s, we started accepting our first Cherokee students who came from Georgia from the Spring Place mission that was established by the Moravian Church and again, we accepted anyone who was Moravian at that point, um, and all the Cherokee students who attended the school through the 1870s were in fact Moravian, some from Georgia, and then after they were forced on the Trail of Tears to Indian Territory, some even came in the later part of the century from Oklahoma. Michelle, this wow. is all fascinating and so important that we know the history of our area and especially of our state. Mm -hmm. And as it pertains to Salem College, it's great background knowledge, but you were speaking on the importance of us to learn about the history of the Cherokees here that did have that Moravian history as well. Why is it that everybody in this area should be educated? Well, the Cherokee and Moravian history, it's part of Salem's history. There wouldn't be a Salem if not for the Moravians coming here in the middle of the 1700s. And the Cherokee have an important place in the story of the American Southern states and they're being forced away. I think it's important that we recognize their former homes that were taken from them. And especially as Moravians and what started as a Moravian school, although the academy and college are no longer part of the church, we are still, our history is a hundred years of the church. And it's important to recognize our Moravian ancestors, no matter what they look like. And it's an important story for the Moravians who are coming on Saturday, they're coming back to places where their ancestors lived and we want to honor and recognize them. Yes, please tell us more about Cherokee Commemoration Day. So it's this Saturday, everyone is welcome, right? It's a yeah. free event. Tell us about the special ceremony. So the ceremony itself will be at 5 p.m. And that is when the principal chief of the Cherokee Nation, Mr. Hoskins, he will be here to, I'm sorry, Mr. Hoskin will be here to unveil the marker that will, that lists the names of the 13 girls of the Cherokee Nation who were students here in the 1800s. Our own academy student, Elizabeth Wheeler, who is a junior, and she has a Cherokee great, great grandmother. She will be with Principal Chief Hoskin unveiling the new memorial. That's amazing, Michelle, and I'm sure it's going to be a day to remember for a yes. lot of people here in the community. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And of course, remember that that Cherokee commemoration is set to be this Saturday at Salem Academy and College. Like Audrey said, it's free to the public, so there's no excuse not to come out and learn more information. It's so and if cool. I may, there are events all day starting at 11 o'clock in the morning with oh. Mesdo, with Old Salem, the Academy and College, the Moravian Archives, all will be open for events for the public. Everyone's welcome. Oh, wonderful. We have that information on the screen now for folks at home. So really an all day educational yeah. celebratory event. Thank you so much for your time, Michelle. Have a great